Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath, you're watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 NFC Custom ROM Reviews. Both are applicable NFC and even the non-NFC variant. This is obviously a Indian variant. You can see this is the Poco X3 Derp Fest OS version 13 and version of Tango Surya and this is October build. You can see October 5th, 2023 is the latest security patch that's available in this room which is cool thing and kernel user is 4.14.206 dub flesh kernel scenic status is enforcing this is typical ui i have used this echo battery results if you want you can see that and this is a quick settings panel and this is a brightness toggle has been moved downside and in the edit section you get all these options if you want to add or remove anything you can drag and add or remove from here you can do that other options in the edit you guys check out here this is all the other options you get in this quick settings panel it's a typical ui you get of a press and hold here you get a home settings there's something different launcher you get plenty of options uh, hidden and protected apps you can add from here dark status bar if you want to make that but it is not happening use dark status bar on home screen okay yeah this one now it's became dark let me go again let me use this home settings yeah you need to disable that that's working top shadow if you want you can disable that too and single page center if you want you can enable that allow short parallax wallpaper scrolling lock layout allow home screen rotation add eye patterns that's fine notifications again you get print of customization here everything added here scroll vibration show lens button suggestions if you want you can enable or disable that swipe to access google app again some of the app drawers and desktop labels drag theme icons icon pack you can select from here you need to install some of the apps this is the uh, launcher and this is all the other widgets you get from here wallpapers and style again you get only dubfest wallpapers one of them is used here and you get basic colors and combination of basic colors are also given here wallpaper colors you can see dark theme is going to work fine theme icons if you want to make like this it will be working fine app grid is available up to six into six system icon packs you can change here some of the options has been given right down and fonts you get plenty here again icon shape also you can change from here this is all the home screen customizations you get and these are the apps i have installed i already shown this acrobat results you can see health history and charging you can see from here and i also have very good internet connection of wi-fi and i'm using geo sim here you guys can see internet connectivity issues haven't faced anything as you can see i have 100 mps plan and it's pulling up to 90 mps even with mobile data connection also it is really good in my opinion yeah let me disable internet yeah okay turn off mobile data yeah done this is the internal settings of anything let me show you the benchmark results actually and i have disappointed because of this one you can see charging slowly full in three hours but it is charging actually speed only i mean rapid charge is supported but still it's showing like this there's a one bug i can say you can see charging slowly full in three hours i tried to check that out and this is a uh, cpu throttling test maximum is around 185 and average 177 and minimum is 99 million jps and it's throttled 86 percent initially it was throttling i don't know what was the background app it is open it's for 15 minutes guys and it was a 100 threat test it's really good in my opinion and single score is 710 and 18 that is a multi score links 4.14.206 the plus art 64 bit is the kernel user the android 13 this is one single and multi-score performance is very good in geekbench 6.0 and this is the anti to benchmark result 2.9 degrees celsius is the per se i mean the, the temperature down actually does not raise really good and three percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing of this anti to benchmark and 3 lakh 87 is the 429 is the score here what i got yeah that's it 
the one bug this could have been fixed charging slowly it is actually charging fastly only but it is showing like that and you get a typical uh, google dialer you can see let me increase this is a volume panel you get here nothing fancy you can just tap here to change the modes you get a direct video call feature again let me try to record a call yeah it will announce the other person that you are recording a call that's how it is it's simple and even messages app is also google one DRM information again you get level one certified no need to worry regarding watching the ott applications it will be played in high definition resolution only and camera here it's uh, a dummy camera has been pre-installed but for simple works and scanning and all it will work fine even video capabilities are also given settings if i go here this is the basic uh, camera you get it but if you know if you want an advanced j cam ports those are available already in the um, videos previously i made this is how the camera application regarding that and safety net status obviously it will get passed you guys can see here yeah it will get past both of the integrity and profile match which is really good and other things and to benchmark i already shown app opening time you can judge here as you can see this is the score what i got it's quite interesting this is a version of anti2 don't uh, say that you are not getting similar scores you might get and even the variant what you are using also matters a lot in my opinion and you get a fm radio pre-installed here files application is pre-installed and if you don't find that just manually install through uh, play store i found some of the roms are not getting the file manager pre-built you can install them manually and you also get the recorder here if i go into settings you get basic settings in the dub space you get all these options regarding battery styles clock settings i already explained about these things in plenty of their roms miscellaneous settings again you get colored icons notification count if you want to get that you can enable that other things you can see on the screen again if you swipe like this you get again notification customization quick settings customization plenty are given battery style again it's available here too and lock skin away shortcuts and ambient always on display you get these customization here if you go here general settings nothing fancy customizations and pulse notifications you get here in the general settings you get unlimited photo storage you need to just enable that there is no option to increase the high fps count in vgma like kind of games regarding other settings you can see the battery battery usage you can see here this is the apps you get it it's quite uh, similar to what other roms are getting like evolution x and all adaptive preferences is given again this not going to change anything and battery light features are given normal and do not disturb and turn off when fully charged those things you can little bit customize them charging control again if you enable that you get plenty of options battery optimizations for a particular apps you can do from here battery widget again this is the one android 13 feature let's see android 14 what we get very soon you'll be getting those videos in my channel hence you need to subscribe to my channel in order to get those kind of videos first to you and also if you like the video give it a like and this is the battery usage as i said battery saver you get it uh, you get even the options to uh, get a notified after 90 percent and you can reduce the refresh rate to 60 and you will get these extreme battery saver options too battery life is quite uh, good here i can say it's not bad either and storage and sound and vibration if i see here there are some options like spatial audio smart pass vibration and haptics you get these kind of patterns you can enable or disable them some of the other settings intensity of it you can do that and additional settings you get these things and display again it's very similar dark theme you will get that yeah, it's not in pitch black condition i don't find any option also if you found that let me know in the comment box below boosted if you can keep it a refresh at minimum maximum can be kept from here tap to wake is given prevention accidental wake is given tap to sleep is also given wake unplug enable bar and display cutout these are the options given in the display and wallpaper style style i already explained accessibility menu which is a handy feature i just kept this bold texture you can adjust the font size from display size from here vibration and haptics other things are also included here security you get face unlock fingerprint unlock and the pattern these things have been given 
you can do some of the settings from there let me show you the fingerprint unlock speeds yeah that's how it is it's not fastest but it is uh, efficient enough and regarding face unlock let me try that out yeah it's also working fine the face unlock is also working fine fingerprint unlock is also working fine but it's not that much fast maybe you need to add two to three uh, fingerprints and even the face unlock samples then it would have been better in my opinion these are all the settings you get but under the hood you get into system here you get a gestures option some of the options like gesture navigation there are option to increase the gesture bar length and even the radius you can enable or disable from here one handed mode and if i go here under first update also you'll get but i recommend to use manually and there are so many parts here direct sound settings you will get here it is not available in the sound and other settings you need to just scroll down here to get these options lcd features don't use that while playing games at least the battery will drain faster and get overheated the device per app refresh rate thermal profiles are given haptic feedback level you can increase or decrease the intensity from here which is quite good this all the options present under the system settings you need to definitely look out that see the uh, fastness in the way it's quite fast here in order to use it as a daily driver let's see bgma what all the graphic settings we get and how it handles in this particular rom and biggest downside of this rom is the you won't get a uh, ifs count here by default you don't get it but if you want you can enable that using the magix models those things i explained long back ago you can check out my previous videos it's not a big thing to enable 60 fps but by default it's not available and you can see how smooth the gameplay is even at 40 fps see the yeah i can able to get a kill the position i am setting is a little bit difficult to play you guys can see and three things you need to keep in mind while order to play this kind of games first check out the wi-fi or mobile internet connection is it stable enough or not if it is fluctuating your gameplay will also going to fluctuate a lot and check out the battery percentage how much you have don't play while it is in 30 percent or 20 percent like that and also download all the files given in the game i mean the other classic uh, some of the other settings maps and all you need to download manually that then only the gameplay could have been better and you need to know how to play the game that's the one more thing yeah that's quite obvious only that one thing people know but some of them will just play like that and you also set whether you want to use gy gyroscope or not check out that yeah the gameplay is fine here as you can see it is smooth but with 60 fps it could have been even better in my opinion i will come back here this is the door first os present on this uh, poco xc slash nfc mine is indian variant uh, one app is active you get a app active status here now the battery toggle has moved above previously it was downside you can check out those changes happening and this how the door first was latest version october security patch it is and that's it guys if you want to use it as a dial driver you can use that ram management is also fine here nothing so great or even bad here i recommend to wait for 114 builds and if you want to flash this rom you are in the previous version go ahead and flash this rom and utilize this particular rom everything is working fine just use some of the other gcam ports and if you want high fps count use magix models and enable that and play this this is an all round rom and this is the latest security patch one with october i really like using this rom uh, and waiting for 114 builds we'll see you with another interesting video guys until that keep smelling bye bye for now